people's um, random video today. Um, I've noticed a lot of big YouTubers like PewDiePie and Markiplier and Matthew Santoro uh, making videos about how YouTube is changing. Uh, now, I don't know if I can really put my two cents in here. It's only very, very recently, within the past year, that I really started paying attention to what goes on on YouTube and what any YouTubers really do. And it's only in the past few months that I've become a YouTuber myself and started paying even closer attention to what goes on on YouTube. But really, I only pay attention to what a handful of YouTubers do. Like, I subscribe to a bunch of channels, but I really pay close attention to, like, a handful of YouTubers. And I haven't really noticed any drama coming from the handful that I pay attention to. So, I haven't noticed a lot coming out of Anime America. Not really anything coming from Jacksepticeye. Absolutely. Freaking lootly, no drama whatsoever coming from my favorite YouTuber, Daz Black. <sighs> but I am noticing an increase in. I don't know, like on on my recommended page and on like the and I guess popular and trending pages, an increase of. You know, so-and-so did this, so-and-so's reacting to so-and-so saying this and this and this, and so, so I am noticing it, and I don't know if I'm just noticing it because I'm just now starting to notice things, and I'm noticing something that's been there all along, I'm just paying attention now, or if it's really something that is changing. But I think drama... Drama in general, like they're, they're 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 complaining about you know all this drama, all this fighting. Nobody's working together. I disagree with the nobody's working together thing because one of the biggest gaming YouTubers out there, Jack Septiguy, how did he get famous? A shout out from PewDiePie, and PewDiePie does collabs all the time. Markiplier and Jacksepticeye collab all the freaking time. Not just with each other, but with, I don't know, I don't remember who the other two YouTubers are, but they're, like, they're Boner Squad, Boner Podcast. They do that kind of stuff all the time. Daz Black and Dave the Rave collab all the time. So I'm not, I'm not seeing that, oh, the nobody's collabing anymore, because I see collabs going on all the time. But, you know, I... I see a lot of attacks going on too, and once again, I don't know if that's a new thing or it's just something that I'm noticing because I'm just starting to notice things. But, um, but drama in general, um, it's popular. People watch it, and I think that's why people might be starting to do it more is because it's popular. That's what people want to watch. Like, look at shows, look at shows like Jerry Springer and Maury. How popular those shows are. They are nothing but drama and people watch it because people want that for some odd reason that just blows my mind. I don't. And it's not just that. Look at like courtroom shows like Judge Judy. Again, that's nothing but drama and people watch it. Look at the celebrity tabloid. You can't go grocery shopping. You cannot buy a pack of cigarettes without seeing 20 tabloid headlines. Britney Spears is fat again. Kim Kardashian and Lamar What's-His Face are fighting over their kid again. Oh my gosh, so-and-so just came out as gay, blah, 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 but why? Like, why? why? Why does this exist? Because that's what people pay for. 
the more people pay for it and the more people watch it, the more people are going to produce. That is economics. That is supply and demand. That is one of the most sim the simplest concepts of humanity. And so the bigger that YouTube gets, the more that that is going to happen because of economics, because of supply and demand. People want drama. We provide the drama here on YouTube now. So if you know, if there, if there's an increase in drama, that's why. Because there's a demand for it. People watch it. That, so it, the problem I don't think is with the YouTubers who are making it. Of course they are because they're contributing, because they're creating it, because they're creating this drama content, they're putting it out there for people to watch and for people to want more of. But it's the viewers too who are just as much at fault as the creators. The people who watch this stuff are just as much at fault as the people who put it out there because they are creating demand for the supply that is now being supplied. And you know, YouTube is, the, like I said, the bigger, the bigger it gets, the more it's gonna happen because that's what people want. And everybody's guilty of it. Even, even the channels, even the YouTubers who have come out and spoken out and said, oh my gosh, there's too much drama, have been guilty of getting into drama. Um, I don't remember the details of them, but PewDiePie and Markiplier, they've both gotten into flame wars with other YouTubers. And so... Though they're two of the ones that are saying, oh my gosh, there's too much drama, oh my gosh, there's too much flaming, oh my gosh, there's too much attacking, but yet they've been in flame wars with other YouTubers. And everybody is guilty of it, some more than others. There are entire channels dedicated to, they're basically ta YouTube's tabloid. YouTube's Entertainment Tonight. That is what we, that is, we have channels like that here on YouTube. But Matthew Santoro made a good point that we don't have any channels that are, at least not any big channels, at least not any channels that are making the popular pages that are, hey, guess what? So-and-so just, you know, so-and-so just, you know, did a 24-hour binge play through, you know, binge streaming of Fallout 4 and Ray's all this money for all this charity by doing 24 hours straight playing Fallout 4. Or, you know, the so-and-so, all the monetizations from so-and-so's this video are going to go to fund this research thing. No, you, you don't hear about that. You don't hear about this YouTuber uploaded this video that caught somebody right as they were about to kill themselves and made them decide that they didn't want to kill themselves and they saved somebody's life. You don't hear those stories. You hear the stories about the, the people who go to prison, the people who, you know, are, are rapists or are child molesters or are sex offenders of any other sort. That's what you hear about. You know, you hear because again, nobody, nobody wants happy stuff, I guess. That's not what people watch. People watch the drama. People want the drama. And then that's what gets watched and that's what gets made. And then we don't get to hear the good news anymore. It gets swept under the rug. YouTube is a great place. I, hear, I see all these hashtags, make YouTube great again. YouTube is great. It is great. It's not gonna stop being great. But it's going to have its good things and it's going to have its bad things. Just like everything that preceded it. Just like Hollywood. It started out small and then as it grew, as Hollywood grew, so did the drama. And that is the same thing that is happening to YouTube from, from, from what I can logically deduce is the same thing that's happening to YouTube. It's getting bigger and as it grows, so does the drama. And also, the bigger it gets, you know, they're, they're talking about, oh, a lot of YouTubers have said, 
oh, it's every man for himself out there, nobody collabs, which I don't agree with. I, I can see to an extent that it's kind of a dog-eat-dog -dog world in the profound words of Flowey the Flower, Flower from Undertale, in this, wor in this world it's kill or be killed. You know, I can see that a little bit because once again, YouTube is getting so big and people are gonna fight to make a name for themselves out there. But there's, there's still beautiful things happening, wonderful collabs. Like I said, Jacksepticeye and Markiplier collab all the time, just not only with themselves, but with the, the boner squad. I don't know what's actually, what they actually call themselves. But um, them and Jacksepticeye is famous because of PewDiePie. Uh, Daz Black and Dave the Rave collabing all the freaking time. And you, there, you do still have that. Not only was you have that with small channels, you have that with big channels, but you, you also do have people that are fighting tooth and nail and will do whatever it takes, will attack whoever they, they have to to make a name for themselves, get those views, get those subscribers. And after watching Matthew Santoro's video, which I think is the most, the one that is short but addresses all the points that need to be made, um, that after watching his video, I'm going to link, that's the one I'm going to link in the description. It made me start to think about my own channel, um, as did a conversation I had with somebody in the comments where that was the first time I brought up the fact that we're all guilty of it, some more than others. Am I guilty of bringing the drama to the table on my channel? What do I do on WTF Wednesday? Like, I point out ridic stupidity and ridiculousness of things. Is my segment, WTF Wednesday, contributing to the drama problem on YouTube? And if so, is that the direction that I really want to go with my channel? I don't know. So I'm probably going to hiatus WTF Wednesday right now until I figure out, you know, if I'm if I'm comfortable with, you know, it, in the intro of WTF Wednesday, those two blurbs that talk back and forth to each other, you know, what is WTF Wednesday? Oh, this is why I'm desperately clamoring for views. That's meant to be a joke, but it's true. Am I willing to contribute to YouTube's growing drama problem that I guess exists? Am I willing to do that for views? I don't know. So, um, I guess that's, uh, that's me jumping on the hype train of this. I don't know. Has, has YouTube changed? Or are these just growing pains? Something that every large platform is going to run into at some point or another, and it's just unavoidable. Again, I don't know. I haven't been on YouTube long enough to really know for sure, but what I do know for sure is that the more people watch drama, the more people want drama, the more drama is going to be produced. It's economics, and that's how our society works. Not just with drama, but with everything. People want more chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna make more chocolate chip cookies. People want more, more of anything. Supply and demand, that's how it works. And it's a beautiful thing and it's a terrible thing. It's what makes, it's what makes our society great. It's what makes, it's what makes YouTube great. Make YouTube great again, great YouTube has always been great and it will, it is great and it will always be great. But it's getting bigger and it's getting more multifaceted. And if you don't want the drama, 
Don't click on the drama. Don't add to the demand. And I am now sitting here wondering if I should be adding to the supply. Probably not. But, uh, anyway, I will see you whenever I see you. Bye-bye.